This is your season of grace with your host, Reverend Father Patrick Henry Edet. Get ready for Grace Revolution. Chapter 4 of First Chronicle from verse 9 says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez saying i give birth to him in pain verse 10 jabez cried out to the god of israel oh that you will bless me and enlarge my territory so jabez cried out to the god of israel can we see can we say it together jabez cried out to the god of israel oh that you will bless me and enlarge my territory let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that i will be free from pain and god granted his request all right now we talked about all oh, that you will bless me so to change pain into honor the first thing that jabez did when he got angry at his pain when he got frustrated at his pain and decided to take responsibility rather than just complaining rather than just sitting down and complaining and whining and blaming the mother and blaming the family line and telling everybody is it not because is it is it not the family line if I didn't come from a wicked family line, will I see this kind of thing? You know, that's the narrative of so many people. That's what they tell people. If I were not, if I were not born into a hopeless family when people don't get married, will I see this nonsense? And it can be a beautiful way of describing your own family. But you have to know that, that no matter the story of your family, no matter the story of your birth, the story of your upbringing and your growth, we have a higher power. At any point you feel tired of being tired do something at every any point you are angry of being at pains and in pains do something Jabez did something he cried oh this one you need a pa you don't need a password this one you don't need jam results this one you don't need post ume aptitude test this one you don't you don't even need credit in your phone this one you don't need data to get to the internet this one is in your mouth moses told the people of israel the world is not in the heaven so that you say who will go up there it's not on the other side of the sea so you say who would ferry us across the world the world is in your mouth so close to you and he lives in you and said paul will say with the mouth you confess with the heart you believe you are justified but with the tongue with your mouth you confess unto salvation no, there is power on the tongue and in the tongue. Proverbs is making us realize that death and life are in what? Death and life are not in the hand of a witch. Death and life is not in the hand of an occult man. Death and life is not in the hand of an authority, a, a, a president, a governor, a local government chairman. So that you can only I can see the governor death will be taken away from me and life will come to me death and life are in the power of the tongue and the scripture, scripture says those who love it shall eat the fruit those who love to use their tongue when you wake up from a bad dream what do you do use your tongue when you wake up into a day that seems hopeless and disastrous what do you do use your tongue when you enter into a year and it seems to be an old year nothing new in it what do you do use your tongue you can also use your tongue to curse yourself you can use your tongue and attain honor god is not in heaven sitting down to hear what the witches and wizards say at midnight about you god is interested in what you say about yourself like ezekiah you can say i shall not die when you wake up and something told you you will die and you use your tongue not meditation say something <laughs> so Jabez said something oh that you will bless me he 
broke the silence maybe your situation is waiting for you to break silence maybe the midnight of your agony is waiting for you to rise and say something to contradict what is what is being said about you every midnight there may be gatherings to make you weak and confused and useless and because they are saying it you lie down at week at midnight and wake up at 1 a.m that you should sleep i mean you are programmed your alarm to wake you up at one guess what you wake up from a terrible dream a dream that is the opposite of what you have been praying for for some people they start meditating on the dream <laughs> he's not saying anything positive he's confirming what has been seen and the devil loves it it takes it for you right that's what i wanted so what we say will come to pass but when you wake up and you say something directly opposite of what you see i shall not die i am strong i prevail i do the impossible and the devil is afraid he runs out through the window because the door is not open <laughs> And it doesn't come back again because you know you're right and you are taking responsibility in confession use your mouth positively when confusion comes to remind you of the old story familiar spirits conduct dreams and orchestrate visions and trances to make you go back to the past and make you feel that the devil is invincible and your story is unstoppable i said now oh that you will bless me break silence at midnight like the sun awake the day the up i will awake the dawn i will awake my blessing i will awake my joy i will awake my marriage my husband wherever you are in the world wake up and look for me i will awake my marriage that's what it means to use the tongue rather than say ah this birthday is coming i'm 34. how many years do i still have to have children now that i'm 35 oh god see birthdays tomorrow normally people celebrate their birthday but how will i celebrate birthday like this but you can awake your marriage you can awake the dawn jabez has shown the way oh that you will bless me so we talked about the impact the import and the importance the implication of prayer of blessing the first means the first way to changing pain into honor is blessing shout blessing. blessing blessing does two things blessing gives and blessing makes and when i tell you when we talk about make destinies are made human beings are born flesh and blood born but greatness is not born is made those who change stories are not just born they are made for there are so many story changers that have been born into the world and they change nothing because they didn't leave their their destiny god makes what the word of god does primarily to people is to make the word can make a, a short man into a tall man the word of God turns a short person into a high, highly exalted person. That's what the word does. And how does the word achieve that blessing? Tell somebody blessing. blessing. So Jabez was saying, oh, that you bless me. Blessing is what gives. It's what makes. Too many people pursue things and vanity and fantasy but substance is in blessing tell somebody blessing. blessing all right so blessing gives genesis chapter 12 abraham was called he was barren the first thing god did to abraham leave and i will show you and he started giving him blessing to make him a different man from who he was in his father's house ah can you imagine that after god called abraham he didn't tell him to drop sarai and marry a younger girl god didn't do that god blessed him <laughs> god blessed him 
when he blesses he made Abraham do you know what happened he told Abraham while Abraham was still Abraham exalted father because God had already blessed him and that blessing had already made him God told him you shall no longer be called Abraham you shall be called Abraham why you shall be father of nations how will I have already made you in the mind of God in the sight of God in the presence of God Abraham had become father of nations so it was an insult to call him Abraham God said change because I've already made you how many people have been made by God but they don't know and they keep living the old stories the old narratives and answering the old name and they contradict their destinies whereas they have been made because God has already made you all you need to know is to accept it and work it out let's jump into Genesis chapter 27 let me show you something the whole story of chapter 27 of Genesis is the intervention of a mother the intervention of a woman in favor of one of her children because the family of Isaac was divided Isaac was in favor of the firstborn Esau the scripture says he was a man of the field he was a man of skill a man of games he hunted and lived by his hunt by his games he lived by his quiver and by his his bow he lived by his strength Esau is not just a person Esau is a disposition Esau is a mindset a mentality those who believe by their intelligence they can bring about destiny and they tell you don't worry about God you know God has not created us to trouble him about things that we can do that is an Esau which means there are so many Esau sitting down here hallelujah I said hallelujah so Esau is that kind of mindset dependence on your ability your gift what you can do for yourself Esau is a mindset now Jacob stole somebody's blessing Jacob didn't just wake up to steal somebody's blessing somebody got Jacob into thinking somebody got Jacob into acting Jacob is a hustler by nature but Jacob would not have even known there was an opportunity if somebody had not told Jacob you need somebody to tell you something you need a mentor in destiny it's not just that Jacob hustled was Jacob there when the father was telling Esau that blessing was about taking place the mother had you need a connection in life you need a connection who can speak when it is time to speak who can tell you what maturity has not yet brought you what education is here to teach you what marriage is here to give you what family story cannot give you you need a connection you need a prophetic connection blessing does not just happen blessing follows the pattern of connection tell somebody connection blessing doesn't happen in a vacuum it was a connection blessing follows the pattern of connection there are connectors of blessing there are people you meet in life your life changes there are people you meet in life for the first time you hear what you have never heard you see what you have never seen they say one thing you hear three things sometimes you need to intentionally ask, ask God order my steps to meet the connection of my blessing so when we talk about Isaac blessing Jacob instead of Esau he didn't just wake up and do that somebody connected call it fraud call it whatever but call it connection you'll be right okay now the blessing has taken place and he said look at the pattern of blessing that Isaac after all the protocols of discernment trying to find out whether this is Isaac what is this Jacob or Esau because it was hybrid hybrid of Esau and Jacob hybrid means a, com a composite composition bringing parts and parts together 
I'm making it into a, a different thing. The smell was that of Esau, but the voice was that of Jacob. But this man wanted to eat something. The agreement is that if you bring something, I will bless you. Something has been brought. Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you. So blessing gives. Blessing gives you what you don't have. Blessing gives you what nothing else can give you. What money cannot give you. What a woman, what a man cannot give you. Blessing gives you. The day you are blessed, that is your early morning. Until you are blessed, you are still sleeping. Your day breaks when you are blessed. Because blessing makes you start activity. Don't do business until you are blessed. Look, don't marry until you are blessed. You can, you can marry and go to bed. And wake up after 25 years of anniversary and realize you never married in the first place. You didn't have the peace and the joy of marriage. Because you were not blessed. What makes a destiny experience daybreak? The roaster that cries, co, 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 co. it is morning. That's blessing. It is blessing that wakes you up from your slumber, makes you into a living destiny that can touch a thing and a thing becomes something. Am I talking to somebody? Don't start life until you are blessed. They may God give you all of heaven's due and of earth's riches give you heaven's dew and earth's riches an abundance of grain and new wine may nations serve you now this is no longer giving it means i make you the king of nations the first one is i give you abundance the second is i make you a lord a king in a way you can also say i give you dominion when dominion comes dominion makes you into do, a dominion personality a king a kingdom so blessing constitutes a man into a destiny by giving and making may god give and may nation serve you means dominion now verse 30 after isaac finished blessing him making him and giving him and Jacob has scarcely left his father's presence. His brother Esau came in from hunting. His ability. Your ability will always make you late in the day of destiny. You need a helper. So with your strength, your beauty, your intelligence, your ability to rise very early and to go back late. All that he can do for you is to make you come late on the day of blessing. You need a connection you need divine mentorship so after isaac finished blessing him and jacob has carefully left his father's presence his brother esau came in from the hunting he to prepare some tasty food when a man has eaten good food he does not need another good food he to prepare some tasty food and brought it to his father then he said to him father sit up and eat some of my game the father was resting because he had eaten so that you may give me your blessing his father isaac asked him who are you can you imagine this is the closest person to this man who are you your strength can make you a stranger to the person who is closest to you verse 33 isaac trembled violently and said who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me i ate it just before you came in and i bless him and indeed he will be blessed and when he saw heard his father's words he burst out with a loud and bitter cry who told you that crying and shedding tears can change your destiny it does not going to the altar to roll from one end to the another and use your tears to wipe the altar when an angel appears he will tell you what to do and it's always about obeying what god says whatever he tells you to do do it whatever he asks you to do do it he points you to the word he points you to the emmanuel to the god who's already with us not the god we are looking for he cried but his crying didn't change anything you can cry till your eyes have become before changed from blue to black your eyes become chameleonic 
changing every day because you cry you have to cry in principle oh, hallelujah all right then he asked the father haven't you reserved any blessing for me this is a man who owned the blessing by right he's talking about reserve when fear is in reserve it's not good that means you need to look for fear you don't travel far in destiny with reserve tongue or fear at the reserve level is there no blessing at the reserve level what has been kept as leftovers this is somebody who was entitled to the blessing his strength couldn't help him your beauty your intelligence your family line the name of your father does not have capacity to change your status you need blessing blessing makes you enter into a new year a new day a new month a boss may still not like you but you have changed and he has no no option except to treat you as a change status things that are that correspond to your new life new status of blessing come to you even though those who give it to you don't like you am i talking to somebody that is the power of blessing let me tell you somebody treats you according to the level of the blessing of god in your life he saw said to his father do you have only one blessing isaac answered esau i have made him did you hear that how did isaac make him he didn't wake up from the bed he didn't even touch him he didn't bring mud he didn't bring sand and water there was no cement there was no sand there was no thing to mix there were no woods there was no carpenter he didn't assemble artisans and say you bring this you bring this let's make this no he pronounced him into a firstborn car he said i am make him lord over you when did you make him lord over me when i said i bless you when i say i give you when i say may god give you when i say may the earth give you i made him your lord even though naturally you are his lord but blessing has made him your lord which means if you are wise honor your lord a blessing changes everything say i have made him i have made him i have made a barren womb into a, a, a twin carrying womb i have made somebody from the lineage of failure into a champion of victory i have made him that was formerly despised and rejected into a celebrity i have made him this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner allow god to use you for registration and inquiries to all our partners and friends we say thank you like the widow of zarephath your oil will never run dry